To begin, let's go over the multiple select function before we look at groups, as the two functions are similar yet different. If I select a cat, then hold down the control key, and then select the other cat, a dashed line with orange corners is put around the two designs to show that they are both selected. The color select worksheet in the design panel now also shows the colors of both designs. I can now move the selection around. I can also use the alignment tools to align the selected designs. As I am happy with that, I now click on the beagle and move it under the German Shepherd. But looking around at the cats, I now think I want them at the bottom of the hoop. So I click back onto the cat and move it. As you can see, it has lost the link with the other cat. So I have to move both separately. This is because multiple select is temporary. Had we made a group, it would have been permanent until we actually chose to break the link. So, now we are clear on the multiple select function, let's go on to the group function. Now we have a more complicated example. As I click on the designs, you can see that they are neither a multiple selection or a group. So, before we rearrange these designs, let's do some grouping. To create a group, do the same as you do for multiple select. That is, select the designs you want in the group whilst holding down the control key. The dash selection box will show up. Then, when all the designs have been selected, click on group in the home tab, or right click and select group from the context menu. The group is then made and the selection box changes from a dash line to a solid line with orange corners and the selection boxes for the individual designs become paler. We can now position the groups. All the functions that were available for multiple select are still available for groups. So if I select both cats, move them to the top of the work area, I can see that the meow cat is not level with the per cat. So all I need to do is to use the alignment vertical function to align them. If I then click outside the multiple selection dash selection line, I lose the multiple select, but not the original groups of the cats together with their sounds. Now, to make it a bit more interesting, let's put one of the dogs between the cats. Now I want to make the dog and lettering larger. As they are grouped, this is done in one step. Groups are great.